The so-called TikTok trickster says he's willing to face criminal charges against him in other states. 54-year-old Brenton Fillers in a Fayette County courtroom today after being arrested at UK Hospital last week. He's wanted in four states, including Alabama, where a woman says she was scammed by Fillers on TikTok. He's not facing any charges here in Kentucky, though. It's not clear which state he'll be sent to to face charges. The TikTok trickster story is a reminder for anyone who goes online to watch for the signs of a romance scam. Danielle Miskell spoke with the Better Business Bureau about how the number of people falling for those scams is rising in Kentucky. He had at least 27 different aliases, but 54-year-old Brenton Fillers, known as the TikTok trickster, was eventually identified in the UK hospital just days ago. His story points to a trend that's stealing hearts and dollars once again. 2022, the romance scam popped back up to spot number seven as the riskiest of scams. The last time romance scams were this bad was during the pandemic's early years. But a 2023 data report shows that in Kentucky, there have been nearly a thousand cases of romance scams in the last year, amounting to more than $11 million in losses. Heather Clary with the Better Business Bureau says romance scams typically begin on social media. They want to move quickly. That's a hallmark of such a scam. Clary says next, romance scammers will make their victims feel comfortable and close with them, making it more difficult for victims to say no when they go for the kill. I need some money and they have some hard luck story to tell you to help them. That's your big red flag. For example, last year, a Lexington woman lost $200,000 when she fell victim to a scammer in Nigeria. His story was he was doing this to feed his family. Then comes the excuses as to why they're not able to see their victims in person. They're traveling on business. I've heard they're a missionary somewhere. They're in the military. Any reason they can give to not meet up with you in person, that's a big red flag. These are the signs to watch out for and report right away. That's what helped the victim in Spanish Fort, Alabama, because she had reported fillers or Jason Mitchell to the police. In Lexington, Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News. If you think you've fallen victim to one of these scams, report it to the Better Business Bureau Scam Tracker. We have that link for you at fox56news.com.